In this Python video, we will see how to remove the first element of a list. There might be different approaches, but I will show you only two approaches. This is one of the most common interview question or sometimes when you have some small, small programming testing in Python, you will find this sort of question. I am using the PyCharm editor and my bullet name is interview. And here I am creating a file named as remove underscore past element something like that. And to make it more easy, I can change the file name like 01 underscore so that it will be easier to track in future tutorial. Okay, now I created the file. So let's build our list first. Suppose in our list we have couple of elements. The elements is like hi, welcome to few steps tutorial for example so i am creating my own list by using on variable the variable name is my list and i am assigning all the values as an string and in a list now finally i want to see how the list look like i'm going to add some space of each end of the string so that when you will print it will look nice so but it is not mandatory i just added the space now let's now let's uh, print the list to check how it looks like. So I'm typing the command uh, print. Uh, this is the method, and then inside it I'm typing the string uh, original list, then plus, then the string name my list, and put it under a string. I can cast it to a string str. Then I'm closing the parenthesis, and finally I'm clicking right click and run as uh, this file name, and I'm saying. The list is printed under the comma under the terminal. Okay, now we need to delete the thing. So to delete the thing, we will use pop method, and I am using my list dot pop and then the index. So it is my zeroth index. So if I type now uh, to check the list, I am typing print. Then after removing first element, this thing, then plus and the string, and then the list. That is uh, my list that one. And if we run the application again, then we'll see that from here, the first element is already deleted. The, this is the initial string, like original listing. So hi, welcome to this, this thing. But here in the after removing, we are seeing that hi, that is missing. That means uh, that part is deleted. So in this way, using the pop method, we can delete uh, the first element from our list. Now let's check if we want to delete uh, the last element like tutorial. This is the sixth index of this element uh, list, right? One zero one list starts from zero. Then uh, if we want to delete that thing, how we will do? So at the time we can use the delete method uh, instead of this pop method. Okay, so we can uh, define the, like del then my list and then the index position. So what will be the index position of tutorial? What do you think? Is it four, five, six, or one? Uh, the list starts from zero, right? So zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? Fifth element, right? Here. So if we try to uh, type uh, to check how, whether the list is uh, the tutorial from that list is deleted or not, uh, so I'm typing the command print after removing the fifth index, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, fifth. Okay. Then the string. Now if we try to print, uh, what will we expect? We will expect uh, that the tutorial is deleted. No. Why? Because it is unable to find the index. Do you remember? Uh, previously, we deleted one element from the beginning, right? So after deleting that, it goes. So if we change the index, we are seeing that it is printing fine. But uh, this is incorrect, right? So we need to fix. So basically, what I am trying to do, this tutorial what is the correct current index position? We have to figure it out first. Okay, so what I am doing, I am deleting uh, the last two lines which I deleted. I, I wrote uh, last two lines. Now I am running the application, and this is after deleting the first element. So here we see here tutorial is the fifth index position. But whenever after deleting, we are printing this line right after you being high that is string we are getting this so 0 1 2 3 4 so tutorial is the fourth index right 
it's not fifth index so we need to modify from this list not from the initialized list okay so now we'll use the delete method to delete that tutorial string so i'm typing delete then a space my list and the index position so what will be the index position the index position should be 0 1 2 3 and 4 it's not fifth okay it's four <laughs> and then i'm trying to check whether it is really uh, really deleted the last element or not so i'm typing the command print then i'm typing some text after removing the fifth element right zero one two three four four zero one two three four fourth element sorry fourth index then i'm i have to um, show i have to uh, check whether it is working fine or not and then i'm typing string then inside the parentheses i'm typing list and i'm running the application now and i see uh, welcome to few steps yes the tutorial is deleted so at the beginning we deleted from the first element and at the second case we deleted the last element okay by choosing the index position so in this way we can uh, delete the elements from the list if we want to delete the first element we can use pop method and if we want to delete any other position of the list then we can use the delete method and the index position and remember the index position always starts from zero okay so this is one of the trick interview question i will say uh, for the beginner uh, sometimes uh, they might face this problem and uh, everybody basically when they learn the tutorial or i mean the python tutorial they learn uh, they know uh, this thing but uh, whenever they are trying to uh, attend some interview they always co become confused so i also became confused when i took the first interview of python and then i realized i will create some tutorials uh, for related to interview which will be helpful for everybody uh, to crack the interview very faster and easily thank you for watching so more videos will come uh, soon uh, if you wish you can subscribe and you can also put your valuable comments to add some new tutorial or some new interview questions something like that and thank you for watching the video